There was a time, a time before cable, when the local anchorman reigned supreme. <laughs> Look, when I saw Anchorman, at first I'm thinking like, okay, this is a comedy. And then I'm thinking like, well, maybe it's a, it's a documentary. But no, it's more of a comedy. But they get it right. So I started in TV news uh, part-time in 1973. I was 19 years old. I didn't know anything. Uh, this immediately, of course, made me big man on campus. Actually, nobody cared. I would walk around and I would tell them, don't you know I'm on the local TV station? I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. There were famous anchor guys in cities all across America who really were like uh, kind of cult figures in their communities. Ron Burgundy's on! These guys didn't realize how much globe there was. They're just local anchors and they were kings. It's Channel 4 News at 6 o'clock. When I started, I had three suits, okay, three. I had a brown one, I had a blue one, and then I had a green one. And what was great about these suits is they were so great. Every one of them had like white piping on the lapel. Buy new suits. Yay! That era was kind of funny because, you know, you had like the, the wide lapels, the really wide ties that could double as tablecloths. Uh, the big hair and kind of like that authority presence. Hey everyone! Come and see how good I look! The hair is very important. I mean, what did Burgundy say in the gang fight? No touching of the hair or face. Of course. I'm pretty sure at Channel 7 News, where I was in 1974, we could have taken the guys at Channel 9 News. I think that would have happened. Uh, we didn't go looking for a fight because we weren't all that brave. What? Francis was pointing at me, but I'm not the sporting type. Uh, journalists uh, are colorful characters. And you have to understand the 70s. That type, like with two fingers like this, you know, 100 miles an hour, two fingers, a cigarette hanging out of the mouth, and maybe some scotch over here. But they got it done, and the news was actually pretty good, I have to say. Bob Orr and the Eyewitness News. We make fun of anchor men, but anchor women are, you know, they're, they're pretty egotistical too. And I'm working with this anchor woman, and she's going to do a live interview with a farmer about this big pumpkin festival. She doesn't have any idea what to ask the guy. So her second question is, well, so Farmer Jones, how often do you hold this annual pumpkin festival? And when we all laugh, she's like, well, that went pretty well. Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Really good. Anchor man, I mean, it cracks me up because I look at it and I, I say, you know, too many of those stories are too close to what I did. Anchorman 2, it's set in 1980, so... Now it's, we're dealing with 24-hour news, so it's something new to them. It was just crazy. I mean, that was going to cut into our time, right? I mean, I worked with two anchor guys one time that literally used to count how many seconds each one of them had in the evening news. You stay classy, San Diego. And thanks for stopping by. But mainly, stay classy. We did that. We looked like that. We acted like that. But we were really trying. We weren't doing comedy. At least we didn't know we were doing comedy. I only hope our audience forgives us. Join us today. On the 530 edition. Cut, wrapped on. I can't do any better than that. If you're not going to join us, tough. I'm <laughs>